We have a trade between the New York Rangers and the Dallas Stars, and it's involving defenseman Niels Lundqvist, who had reportedly been asking for a trade instead of going to training camp, and now he's getting an opportunity for a fresh start with the Dallas Stars. The details are that the Rangers are getting a conditional first-round pick in 2023 and a conditional fourth-round pick in 2024. I saw our man Larry Brooks first announce the trade and he said that if the top 10 pick rolls over to 2024 without any restrictions, there could be another piece coming over to the Rangers and that is indeed the 4th round pick. So pretty much the Rangers ended up trading away Lundqvist, a guy whom I thought Montreal would acquire and was very much willing to be traded away over the month of September at this point. And honestly the Rangers could have landed themselves in a very good situation since the pick they received is a top 10 protected pick and if it rolls over to 2024 it is still a 1st round pick. We're all coming to terms about how valuable first round picks are and so the Rangers are in very good hands of now and they're even in better hands if the Stars manage to play bad hockey for the next two years or so. And they get themselves in this situation by just trading away a former first round pick who is 5'10 and 187 pounds and a right handed defenseman. Offensively, Niels Lundqvist has put up 31 points in the SHL in the 2019-20 season and then he put up 32 points in the SHL in the 2020-21 season and finally got his chance at a blue shirt jersey in 21-22 where in 25 games he put up 4 points. Considering how young and inexperienced he is, he wasn't given much ice time as he put up I believe 15 points in 34 games with the Hartford Wolfpack and that's what sparked this debate about, you know, look, this kid wants his time to shine and he's not getting that in New York. Let's maybe move him to a team that could use him. And this move works perfectly for Dallas as they lost their anchor defenseman in John Klingberg as he signed with the Ducks. So we should all be expecting Lundqvist to get tons of ice time. And now that he's got some young defensemen playing with him, like Miro Heiskanen, for example, maybe he and Heiskanen can take charge and play 20 plus minutes a night and become a mainstay on the power play. And that could easily get him between 20 and 50 points in a season, which would be worth a top 10 protected pick. All Dallas has to do now is just pretty much make sure he develops into a stable defenseman, and that would make this trade pretty much dead even. I know Rangers fans have had deja vu to the last Stars Rangers trade involving a defenseman, which I believe was Sergei Zubov, and considering his number was retired by Dallas, it shows you how good he was with the Stars. Either way, this is a crazy trade and a very risky trade by the Stars because they're giving up a valuable stock of draft capital to a team that doesn't really need it anymore, and it's a very valuable piece if the Stars end up playing very very bad. And so let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this trade. There's going to be more news about it as the time goes on. But for now, these are the only details we have. Thank you guys for tuning in and have a wonderful day.